so hi everyone welcome back to data science in your pocket and we have a breakthrough paper coming out from china that is it is able to beat out our very own the jistra algorithm for shortest path algorithm and now we have even faster algorithm that can calculate shortest path given between nodes so now for since for last 40 years the jistra has been the go to algorithm which is the fastest and the simplest one but now no longer that barricade has been broken down and a new algorithm has come that becomes a pioneer in shortest path algorithm the name hasn't been given on the paper but we will be discussing what new has been introduced and it's quite an interesting algorithm i would also be explaining with an example how the new algorithm works so first of all what are the problems with the jistra and bellman ford algorithm if you have heard of it as well these both are for shortest path algorithm so the time complexity for the jistra is m plus n log n because there is a queue sorting that happens at every edge i'm not jumping into the jistra and bellman ford algorithm else the video would be going on for hours so i would request you to please read it out but right now the time complexity with the jistra is m plus n log n and with bellman ford it is mk so both waste a lot of resources and that is why a new concept has been come in which uses a hybrid version of both there is a key concept in these algorithms that has been used called as relaxation checking if going through node u is better way to reach node v if yes the distance gets updated this is called as relaxation the core idea behind the new algorithm front shrinking divide and conquer and bounded relaxation don't be afraid by the terms i would be explaining everything with an example so right now we'll be just going with the basic definition and eventually with all these three reforms coming into the algorithm the new complexity becomes m log 2 by 3n which is quite less compared to the best n log n for the jistra so let's try to understand in short what are these three important achievements that has been introduced in the new algorithm so basically frontier shrinking instead of maintaining a massive set of candidate nodes the algorithm identified something called as pivots i'll be telling you what it is limited relaxation relaxation that is updating for a given node it is not for everything every node but for a few set of nodes and finalizing the layers complete whole layers of node at once by hop count so there is a concept of hop count also come in here divide and conquer i think we have already read certain algorithms in computer science that work on divide and conquer approach i'm not jumping into that too for now and how does it work so there are multiple differences between the jistra and the new algorithm the jistra operates one node at a time while the new algorithm works at layers it is operating with multiple nodes at a time the jistra has a priority queue while in the new algorithm there is no sorting required it is recursive in nature and as you can see in the end the time complexity also changes key assumptions no two paths have equal lengths, constant degree graphs, comparison addition mode. While consideration that the model is deterministic, no randomness is there, may increase space. So while it saves on time, it may take a hit on the space complexity. So now, as we now have understood the basic what it has improved, let's jump onto an example to better understand the new algorithm. So for that, I have taken this particular sample graph as you can see on my screen. S, A, B, C, it has 10 nodes so that I can be able to explain you everything in quite some detail. Just look at this particular first node that is S. We'll be starting from here to calculate the shortest path for all these nodes. And I'll be showing you how the new algorithm works. It's a little tricky one. So let's get started with the example. So top level frontier S, the S node we would be starting and K equals to 2 relaxation. So there is a hyper parameter you need to choose in the algorithm. Here it is K equals to 2. That means we will be performing 2 global rounds of relaxation. That means updating the weights if there is a shorter path available. 
so after first round of relaxation that means hop count one by hop count one what do i mean is if you look into this graph what is the shortest path for one hop count that is one edge so s is reachable to a b and c when we consider just one edge hence the weights for a b c would be getting updated to 2 7 and 9 as you can see here after relaxation round one hence s equals to zero because it was a ground node a equals to two b equals to seven c equals to nine and uh, everything else is infinite for now very similar to the gistra to move ahead with the video to move ahead with the video you need to understand the gistra and bellman fold a bit now when we go to the round two after relaxation round two we are checking for which nodes are reachable by s when we are considering hence when we start considering two hops a d f are also reachable because two edges are there make sense so in second round because k equals to two that is why we first considered all the nodes that are reachable by one edge and then in the second round we are considering all the nodes which are reachable by two edges from s hence we would be now updating weights for the new nodes as well so from a a to d 2 plus 2 equals to 4 a to e 2 plus 4 equals to 6 b to e the it equals to 8 but e remains 6 because the earlier update from coming from a is lesser than from b so if you go back considering e already the shortest path for a is equals to 2 b equals to 7 and c equals to 9 now when we're considering e from a it is 6 because 2 plus 4 is 6 but from b it is 8 hence this one gets cancelled and the weight for e remains 6 only this is applicable to d e and f also and hence our updates final updates are s equals to 0 a equals to 2, b equals to 7, c9, d4, e6, f equals to 10. While these three edges are still not reachable in k equals to 2, that means two hop counts, you can't reach g, h, i. You need more edges to reach g, h, i from s. Now, which nodes are finished? So, this is, was the first round that we did and we got the shortest part for all three, all the six nodes. This is how fast this algorithm is, as you can see. With just one iteration, you are able to get shortest path for six nodes. While in case of the register, this will have taken multiple iterations. So this is the path. These are the nodes that are finished now. If the path is SBF or SB, SCF, SAE, SBC, these are finished. Now GHI are left because they require more than two hops. G and H requires three hops. I requires four hops. So if you look, G is here and H is here and I is here. So to reach I, you need four edges minimum. Similarly, for G and H, you require three edges minimum. Take any path. Hence, G, H, I are remaining. Now we will be going with the next round. Finished is this set. Unfinished is this set. Now who is the frontier now? So what is the concept of frontier? Frontier is a root node from which we are starting the calculation. In the first iteration, it was S. Now in the next iteration, it would be those edges, those nodes, which can reach out to the unfinished nodes. So which are they? If you go back, if you look at G, H and I, G and H are reachable by D, E and F. Hence, all these three nodes now become our frontier nodes. These are called as frontier nodes from which we are starting the calculation again. Again, the same things happen as we did for S, but now the frontier nodes are three, D, E, F. So we'll be starting with D first. So in first count, because K equals to two, if you remember the first edge, G is reachable and the weights for G is three. And in the second hop, it would be also reachable to I. Let's jump back to our presentation here. First relaxation in the recursive round. 
d4 e6 and f equals to 10 because in the first round we have already updated the weights for d e and f from s now in the first hop how many of the new edges are reachable in just one edge from the new frontier ones so g and h are reachable d to g is 7 e to g is 8 but we'll keep 7 because 7 is minimum right similarly e to h is 10 f to h is 11 but again we'll keep 10 because what we are doing here when we are calculating e to h we are calculating the distance already calculated for e in the first round plus the edge between e and h right hence the total distance coming out from s to h would be 10 do remember that we are still calculating it for s only but this is the second round and we are trying to reach the harder to reach nodes from the new frontier that we have calculated and this is how we got g and h now still i is remaining so second relaxation round because you remember k equals to 2 so in the first round also we went with two relaxation rounds here also we'll be going with two relaxation rounds so in the first relaxation we have got g and h and in the last one we will be getting i also hence i equals to 10 and we are able to get to our shortest path for all the edges in just two full iterations this is how fast it is this is the intuition with k equals to 2 the algorithm finishes all nodes whose shortest path uses less than two hops the far nodes ghi needs more hops they are handled in a smaller recursive problem so what we did instead of calculating everything starting from s we identified a subset right which are called as pivots if you remember we introduced a concept called as pivots so d e and h the second round of frontiers were our pivot nodes, which are helping us to reach out to the more distant nodes. The registra would st still interleave exploration node by node via global priority queue. Hence, here we do bound relaxation that finalizes whole layers. So, bound relaxation means we are just using k equals to 2. That means any node that is reaching in our zone of two hops would those only would be relaxed relaxed means they would their weights would be getting updated so this is how the new algorithm works it's a little complicated i would suggest you to read out the paper it's very interesting a little difficult also but worth the read and this is how the new algorithm is improving over the justra and bellman ford and looks to be a breakthrough paper i hope you enjoyed it and you understood the algorithm as well thank you so much